What is up guys, it's Baseball Nerd, back with another video. And um, today we're gonna be going into our rankings. It's not really a ranking, it's just a list of some of the most jacked dudes in baseball. Some of the biggest guys, some of just the most ripped and the guys that look the strongest or are the strongest. So um, just kind of not really particular order, just a bunch of big dudes, a bunch of strong dudes, a bunch of ripped dudes. And so we'll just get right into it. If you guys like this video and like baseball content, MLB or in real life stuff, Please like um, the video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Thank you. So getting right into it, first person on our list, we have the biggest dude in baseball, a guy that looks ridiculous on the baseball field. He has one of the other biggest dudes in baseball on his own team, and he makes him look small, and that's Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is huge. Dude is 6'7", 282. He could be a tight end in the NFL or a power forward in basketball. Either way, he's just one of the biggest guys in baseball. You can see it even when he's on the baseball field and off the baseball field. I have some workout videos of him up now, and um, we get a closer look into how he stays in shape when being so big. Next, we got his teammate in the outfield with him or DHing for his team um, is Giancarlo Stanton. He's always been known as a big guy. He was known as like the biggest, most strong, muscular, whatever you want to call it, guy in baseball before Aaron Judge when he was on the Marlins. And he's um, still one of the biggest guys. He seems to be, I know a lot of coaches and stuff like that tell people not to muscle up the baseball and stuff, but this dude seems to be able to just do that when he has to and is not intimidated by any pitcher in the league. And um, one of the pitchers on this list coming up is actually his teammate and one of the other biggest guys in baseball. And I want to see them face off. It won't happen while they're both wearing Yankees uniforms, but two of the biggest guys in baseball that I don't think either one of them would be intimidated by each other. And that guy is Aroldis Chapman, one of the biggest, scariest, hardest throwing closers in the game. His workouts look insane. To be honest, the workouts I have up right now doesn't seem to be a lot of weight on any of the bars or anything like that for being so huge, but the dude throws over 100 miles per hour, and he's one of the biggest dudes in baseball, and he looks huge. His upper body, his shoulders and arms are just jacked. So that's where all this Chapman. Um, next guy on the list, we're going to go to another position player. This guy plays the outfield and was um, a young guy coming up for the St. Louis Cardinals. That's Tyler O'Neill. And um, Tyler O'Neill kind of has an edge in some of these guys because his dad actually was a professional bodybuilder. I want to say he was Mr. Canada or something like that. He's asked about it in an interview, but this is his workout session. This dude is huge. He's jacked. Um, he looks like a bodybuilder out on the field. And I think he's one of the upcoming stars for the St. Louis Cardinals in that outfield. Next, we have Noah Syndergaard, pitcher for the New York Mets. He's one of the, just the biggest guys in baseball. He's 6'6", 242. Um, super tall, super big. Another workout video we have here of this dude just looking jacked. Um, one of the greatest pitchers. I know he's um, been hurt and stuff last year for the Mets, but now he will, back. he will be back this next year and being one of the biggest, most jacked dudes in baseball. Also with Noah Syndergaard, we have to say how he can hit. The dude can hit. He's not a two-way player like Michael Lorenzen, but the reason that he can hit so well is not only his mechanics. It's because the dude is huge and strong, and some of those little flares that he gets, he can get a little more air under them, send them out farther, and get some base hits, or take some of those fly balls to the deep warning track and send them out of the park. Next up, we have Yandy Diaz. Dude played third base, outfield, first base, DH. A lot of positions for the Rays. But in this clip that you're going to see behind me, he's going to be working out. And this dude has huge arms. His biceps are the size of my thighs. His forearms are the size of my calves. Probably even bigger. Um, he's just huge. You see, it's, it's a little unconventional here, This that, that last curl with the barbell. But the dude's huge. Next, we got Bryce Harper. Um, one of the biggest, most jacked dudes in baseball. You can see all his deadlifts and his squats. He, he's very strong. I like to see his workouts compared to some of these other guys because he actually seems very, very strong for his size. He's not as big as some of the other dudes like Judge and Stanton um, height and weight wise, but he's still super jacked and super strong and he just looks super athletic. And I love because you can see the competitive emotional side of him in lifting as well as his baseball side. So I really like to see that in all his workout videos and just seeing him hit PRs like this. Next, we have a guy that I didn't find a lot of workout routines for online, but he's a super big dude. He's super fast, super athletic, and um, that's Mike Trout. He's jacked, and he's uh, um, his workout videos that I've seen in the past have been more like CrossFit stuff. Not CrossFit, I guess, but more like I've seen him doing lunges and things like that. But he's still huge, one of the biggest guys in baseball. You can see it when he's wearing his pants. He's got huge thighs, huge chest. He's a big dude. Next, we got Eric Thames. This dude came back from Korea. He played four years, I believe, in Korea. 
um, before he came back. He was with the Toronto Blue Jays and Seattle Mariners, went to Korea for four or five years, and then came back to the Milwaukee Brewers, and he had so many home runs. 31 home runs his first year back in 2017, 30 or 16 the next year, excuse me, and 25 in 2019. He was just jacking home runs like crazy those three years in Milwaukee and wasn't even playing full time. He's just one of the biggest, looks literally like a superhero from a movie. He's just super huge, super shredded. His shoulders and arms when he takes off his shirt, when he gets pulled off and that famous um, elbow guard that he wears, you could see his arms still bursting through that. One of the biggest guys in baseball. Next, we have Luke Voigt, and the video I'm hopefully having up is his workout. I don't know if this is the one. I was trying to find the one of him uh, benching with one arm. He benched, it's only a plate on each side, but still 135 pounds with one arm and balancing a full barbell with that weight on it. It's really, really hard to do, and he makes it look super easy. He seems very dedicated to his workouts, and he's jacked. One of the bigger guys in baseball, and yet another Yankee. It's the fourth Yankee on the list. They just have a bunch of big guys, I guess. Um, I believe he was also a St. Louis Cardinal at one point, but yeah, known as a Yankee, big Yankee, huge dude. Next, we have Chris Davis, the Baltimore Orioles. I didn't find a video of him working out, but he's a huge guy. We see how tall he is and big he is. When him and Mark Trumbo were on the Orioles, they made you know you know other pitchers very scared of the long ball because of how big they were. Also, having Adam Jones and Manny Machado didn't hurt, but two of the biggest guys at that time for baseball and this is a video of chris davis sending a ball out of the ballpark with a broken bat he breaks his bat on this swing but just is so strong and still muscles it up and gets it out to right field this is an insane clip next we have michael lorenzen lorenzen excuse me next we have michael lorenzen a pitcher for the cincinnati reds he's actually technically a two-way player he can hit and he can pitch and um we have him in here just because of his rigorous workouts and um he has his teammates getting on different workouts. Him and Derek Dietrich used to do curls in the dugout together before he was um, released from the Reds. But yeah, Michael Lorenzen, one of the biggest, strongest guys in baseball. You could see when he takes the mound, he looks jacked. He fills out his jersey as well as the pants, and he just looks huge and jacked on the mound. And um, two-way player, so you know he's super athletic and stuff like that. So that's my most jacked dudes in baseball right now. If you like this list and you like stuff like this, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time.